Now this is KCSC Biology Practical 2015. Let us enter and see what it contains. Uh, the first question, a student is required to spend 15 minutes in reading the instruction. First question as you see is from dichotomous key. You are required to, uh, to fill the blank space you are provided. You are provided. The second question is from bounds. You are required to start them and see the question you are given. Identify the question carefully. And lastly, question three. Question three is for food test. As you see, you are provided with solution D for test tubes, iodine, and Benedict solution. Now let's start with question one. In question one, as you have seen, it says using the pictures of animals provided below, complete the construction of the dichotomous key by filling the blank spaces. Uh, this dichotomous key is from topic in classification. Students should be able to identify the distinguishing characteristics for each organism. Identify class, the kingdom, and the characteristics and the phylum. It starts with our question. In A, we say animals with backbone and animal without backbone. Come back to the pictures. Animals with backbone are those from Philam Chordata because they have a unique characteristic that says they possess a notochord, which is the backbone. You should be able to identify them. Uh, they are the eagle from class apes, fish from class species, tortoise and frog, and the sorry, not the tortoise, uh, um, is the frog. These three class apes, class species, and class reptilia. They have a notochord. Now you will say. The three have a backbone. Now we are told to go to two. Those without backbone, you leave that like that. And then we, we, we have, you have seen, we have identified the three. Now you look at distinguishing characteristics of the three. Like now we see, we will say animals with wings, animals without wings. Now, animals with wings is eagle. You write eagle. Animals without wings, you leave like that. You first go. Animals without wings, you see, go, go to three. When you go to three, you distinguish these two the class species and class reptilia you see animals that live in water for long or for all time that live in water for all time animal which live in water for some time this thing that the animal live in water for long is fish but here if not only the tortoise live in water, also the starfish and the octopus. They live in water but not for so long. Now you write, go to, go to, four. And then you say, even this live in water but now you distinguish 
this one and this one because they they live in water for some time now you will see animals with scales animals without scales <coughs> animals with scales is tortoise animals without scale is frog now you have you have identified this one you have classified it you have classified this one this one and this one now we are remaining with earthworm starfish spider and octopus you come to 1a you didn't fill the space for b now because we have reached 4 and we are supposed to go 5 you say here go to 5 and when we go to 5 animals with legs animals without legs here for anim animals with legs animals without legs here because there are two with legs and two without you write go to to six because it's only one one characteristic that can only satisfy an organism not two now because you have gone to eight you say now for eight go, uh, go to six <coughs> say animals with eight legs animals with a shell now this is very easy because no sorry animals without legs we have been told to go to seven but here with legs we have been told to go to six not when we are at six animals with six legs have been given butterfly animals with eight legs that automatically you should know that the organisms of grass acnida have four pairs of legs. So we should know therefore that is spider. And now we have finished for go to six. Now animals without legs go to seven animals with shell we have been given is snail animals without shell we now we see snail have but we have not we have classified this one now we are remaining with starfish octopus and other one other one animals with shell we have been given snail without shell they are three now you say go to go to eight go to eight <coughs> in eight we have been told animals with jelly like body and animals without jelly like body now animals with jelly like body is they are animals without jelly like body you can see is the starfish don't have this but this one to have jelly like body now you see here with jelly like body the two have jelly like body this other one and the octopus you say go to nine and animals without jelly like body we say star fish because the remaining with the two this will be easy because Octopus and other you see animals with segmented body animals without segmented body automatically you see this are the other one is segmented into this small spaces. Now you write automatically is other one. That's how to answer a dichotomous key and in other question we look at that, a student is given to construct all the dichotomous key we should be able to know how to construct 
your own dichotomous key without being provided with the steps to follow. Now we go to question 2. Now in question 2, it reads, you know the pictures of the three mammalian vertebrae. Now here a student should be able to know how many vertebrae do human beings have. You now we have cervical vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, caudal vertebrae, and sacral vertebrae. Those are five. Now, for those five, you should have the unique characteristics that you should be able to identify. Now, let's start identifying ours. The first F is cervical vertebrae. vertebrae. Because it has a wide it has a wide neural canal. Canal. It's wide, very wide, as you see. And also it has what a brateal canal. Now that is F. You have identified it is cervical vertebrae. G this is thoracic. Thoracic vertebrae because it has this has many extended projection it has many extended projection that's why you say this thoracic vertebrae this cervical is found in neck region neck region and this one is found in thoracic region <coughs> Now we go for H. 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 This is lumbar vertebrae. Lumbar vertebrae. Because, first of all, it has long, has a long, has long neural spine and also has a wide large centrum large centrum now let's go to the question after you have identified the bones now you go to the question a identify the type of vertebrae labeled f g and h as now your work will be easy because you have identified now f is cervical vertebrae f is cervical vertebrae or vertebra and g is thoracic vertebra and h is lumbar lumbar Vertebra. Now you are told. <coughs> now in B, label five parts of the vertebra labeled H. H, you know now is lumbar vertebra. Now you should be able to label. Now we start the first one. This is neural canal. Here, this is. Met tom o sis. This is this is transverse process that we have been told label five. This is first, second, third. Now we have labeled the fourth, which is the centrum. Now the fifth. Neural canal. Now you get your five marks. Now, after you have labeled B, now you go to C. Name the articular facets labeled K and L. K and L. K and L are found in thoracic vertebrae. Now, you should be able to know that. K is tabacula. 
is tabacular facet and L is capitular facet. Yes, is tabacular tabacular facet and L is capitular facet. After you have identified, now you name you name in your question. This is tabacular facet and this is capitular capitular facet now you proceed how d how does each of the parts of the vertebra enable a, enable a mammalian skeleton to carry out its function now this is where you should come and identify the parts that the parts and the function of those projection and this centrum those are those are things that you are being asked now for the first one you can see it possesses a large or broad centrum to support the body weight of the tabra now you see we have have large or broad centrum to support to support to support the uh, body body vertebrae that's the function of the centrum is offer su support to the body of the vertebra now the second one as we see they have the second one as you see both all of them have the neural canal now you see have have neural canal to allow to allow for the passage to allow for the passage of the spinal cord finish next we have the possesses as you see all of them have extended projection I will say they have trans this extended projection and the transverse process. We say they have have transverse. process transverse process which helps in attachment attachment of the abdominal muscles Elana should notice that and know that all projection in any board any projection is offers a surface for muscle attachment now we go and see that they have facets you see have facets facets have facets for articulation with other vertebrae Vata, vertebrae now we have answered our four marks the first we have central neural canal transverse pro process and facets now number three our last question is on food test you are provided with a 250 beaker, four test tubes, 
solutions labeled D and E, iodine and Benedict solution. First of all, you should be able to know that the reagents you have provided are used to test for what? Now, uh, iodine is used to test for starch, Benedict solution reducing sugar. Now we read the procedure. Half fill the beaker with the hot water provided to create hot water and water bath. Uh, one, label the four test tubes as follows. Test tube one, D plus iodine solution. That is solution D and iodine solution. Number two, you test in test tube two, D plus solution D plus solution E plus iodine solution. And Roman three in test tube three, solution D plus Benedict solution. And Roman 4 test tube 4 solution D plus solution E plus Benedict solution. In 2, the same put 1 centimeters cubed, put 1 centimeters cubed of solution D in each of the 4 test tube. This also means 1 milliliter. Put 1 milliliter of solution D in each of the 4 test tubes. In Roman 3, to the solution D and iron iodine in test tube, the test tube, add one drop of iodine solution. This means to the, this now that you are in test tube 1, you labeled D plus iodine test tube that, add one drop of iodine solution and shake to mix. Therefore, you should observe what, what goes on. In Roman 3, to the test tube that you labeled D plus E plus iodine, that is D plus E plus iodine, test tube 2, this test tube 1, test tube 2. Don't forget to subscribe. Just a pattern, place the pattern and that's all I need. You labeled that you labeled test this one is test tube two. Add one centimeter of solution E that you provided and two drops of iodine and shake to test tube that you labeled D plus iodine. That is test tube test tube three. Add one centimeter of Benedict solution, shake and mix, mi uh, shake to mix. Now in 4 to the D plus E plus solution test tube, that is test tube 4, test tube 4, add 1 cm of solution E and 1 cm cubed of Benedict solution, shake to mix. Now after you have done that all, observe the changes in each of the 4 test tubes. After you have observed in each, put all the 4 test tubes in a hot water bath and observe carefully for about five minutes. In practical, even in chemistry, is only following the procedure and you will understand. Let's go to the questions. Now here we are lucky because we are not told to write the procedure. We are only told to write the observation and conclusion. Now now a student is no a student is able to know what is testing because you have been given starch iodine and reducing sugar and benedict therefore students should be able to understand this testing for reducing sugar and starch after he in test tube one after he have done the as he was instructed the observation should be a blue black solution is observed now conclusion automatically in conclusion automatically is starch present you do as we are told you put solution d and e and iodine solution now your observation should be 
akala nes solution is observed this simply means that the starch was absent now in 3 the solution d plus benedict solution this means that your observation will be the observation will be the blue the blue color of benedict solution remained blue this shows that reducing sugar was absent absent that is the conclusion mm, in test tube 4 you put you have put solution d and e plus the benedict solution and you have observed that an orange orange color is observed orange that is the observation observed now automatically reducing sugar sugar present in b are told in b you are told what is the role of each of the following in the experiment uh, the role of solution e was to hydrolyze hydro nice starch and the role of hot water bath was to activate the enzymes so you know you, you need to have knowledge in nutrition and in in animals give the identity of e in human beings now you should be able to know that the enzyme that breaks starch that is the salivary amylase salivary amylase amylase or tylin now d explain the observation on the reagent tested with benedict solution now that is your own observation you should record your own observation uh, the paper is over that was what was needed by the student in 2015 to get all the marks. Thank you.